Let's get into some more Depeche Mode. It's Where's the Revolution? <laughs> uh, uh, You've been uh, why have they. Wait. No, wait, wait. <laughs> They've got big beards and uh, m m moustaches on their moustache. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god, Andy looks really You've funny with me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. You've been Good question. Wow. You are your religion. Damn. Your government, your country. Oh, this is political, man. Do you know this? This gets me. The lot. This one and and especially last one. Where is this spirit album going, man? Like, damn. This is only the second song of it, and we're already hitting hard with, um, like. Oh, who's controlling you? Is it your religion? Is it your government? What is what is controlling you? Flip. Uh, wow. You patriotic junkies. Where's the revolution? Oh, I like it. I love the imagery. He's been pissed off. You pissed For too long. Wow. Okay. Flip. You're right to be. Your views refuse. They manipulate and threaten. The message behind this song is so flipping true. It's like, and and things don't change either. You know, it, it don't matter what decade you're in, you know, or, or what country you're bloody in either. This it, this will ring true with with anywhere in the world you are. <sighs> wow. Sounds pretty good though. Face. 
It's like, this does sound pretty good, but I don't know. I've got, I've got things to say, I think. Like the video, it kind of makes sense, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't really go along with uh, what they're saying. Uh, that that is what my my one criticism about that. There's not much between them. It's actually like molded them together. But um, but the chorus was it's catchy, and I like the meaning behind it. I like the you know the words are definitely what makes this uh, like wow. Okay, you know we know the direction we're going in this album, obviously because this is the second one where it's like, okay, this is going to be a political album, obviously, because they're touching on some really controversial stuff. <clears throat> I love controverse mode. <laughs> I love them when they do this. It, this is the, the best that they could possibly be, is their controversial stuff. In my opinion, uh, it's like, that is the best. Um, so I like that they're taking that approach. Uh, but... I think it's just a chorus that sort of hooks me on this one more than the rest of it. It's like, it's like I don't really go too much on the tune either, really. Uh, it's a shame because uh, that part where they're marching and it's just the three of them and they got the beards on. Uh, <laughs> them beards, man. Uh, I, I tell you what, that's a distraction in itself. That's a uh, yeah, so they're, like, they're, they're walking, they're walking around, right? And they're saying about the train, right? And you're on the train. Uh, see, that, that that part sounds flipping fantastic. That That's like, I love the harmonization in there. I love the way that they all sing together. Uh, you know, they sing together and it, and it really does go well. And then you've got the echoes in the back and... See, that part, that was good. That's clever. That's that's nice. But other than that, it's, it's not going to stand out to me, really, as one of the, the good ones. I mean, as I said, there's a lot of merits to it, but there's also a lot of demerits. So what do you guys think of this song? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, am I going to call it a banger? Uh, I'm going to say that it was a half banger.